Hi everybody, this is part two of my jQuery UI or jQuery and jQuery UI series. Uh, this tutorial will be about um, theming. We'll start off really quickly with uh, how to theme your UI and also we're going to be working with uh, dialogue the or the dialogue function and the progress bar function. Um, start off uh, about theming. If you go to the jQuery UI website and right click uh, or make sure first that you select the theme that you want um, on any of the examples like for example if I just want UI lightness I can right click on the page view page source and in the head or the header of uh, the source you will see a line that includes a style sheet with the file name uh, ui.theme.css. If you copy and paste that into your own header, that'll include um, a theme. Uh, so that'll add the theme and we can get started. First of all, let's go ahead and add a div that um, we will apply functions to. So div id, let's say my div. Um, and div. And for now, we're going to start off with dialogue, and I'm going to add some uh, text in here. This is some text, hopefully, in a dialogue box. Um, and then we need to have some script tags, obviously. And before we can try and apply any kind of jQuery functions to anything we have to make sure the document is ready. Uh, whoops. Okay. And so it's pretty straightforward how to uh, get a basic dialog going. Uh, let's just first try sending the dialog function to uh, the my div uh, div without any parameters. Uh, so, go, I'm in, inside my browser, if you refresh, you'll have your dialog box. Now you can see there's no title um, currently in the title bar, and it's resizable. Uh, so we'll learn how to change that. And also, you can see that the background is not blurred out, and you can well, if there was anything in the background of the HTML page, we could still interact with it. Uh, so let's go ahead and figure out how to change some settings. Uh, go ahead and put in some curly brackets within the dialog function that indicates that we're passing in JSON. Uh, one of the parameters is uh, actually, if you go back into the div tag, you can actually specify a title and a title. So that's an attribute of the div, and that will put some title text within our dialog box. Um, now back in the dialog function, we're going to pass a parameter. Uh, let's try resizable first. Let's make it false. And then also, let's go ahead and say modal, and you spell that M-O-D-A-L, and that'll uh, kind of darken out the background and not allow the user to interact with anything until they have closed the dialog. Um, so now you can see we have a title in our title bar. The, di the uh, dialog box is not resizable and the background's a little bit dimmed or like a little bit grayed. Um, and that's, that comes with the model attribute being true. So if we close that, you can see that the page turns back to white. Uh, so yeah, those are kind of the basic things uh, of the dialog function. You can also specify, for example, like height. I believe the default is about 200, so you can you know change that to 300 if you want or whatever. Um, so you can play around with that. Uh, so next thing to do is progress bar. So we'll keep we'll get rid of the text within the div and also progress bar doesn't have a title. 
So we'll get rid of that. So it's just a plain old div, nothing in it. And, but keep the ID to my div or whatever you want. Um, so we'll use the progress bar function on the my div. Um, so let's just try the default functionality first. If we just call the progress bar function on that div, refresh, you'll see a little bar pop up with, you know, it's not filling it at all because we didn't specify any kind of uh, percentage value. So to do that, you just once again have the curly brackets within the function value colon and whatever percentage you want the bar to be at. Let's say 45% we want it. So if you refresh, you can see that part, part of the um, progress bar is filled in, and that's 45%. Uh, so that's pretty much one of the only uh, parameters we'll pass to a progress bar is cha you know, changing the value. Um, although if you go into the documentation, yeah, the value and disable are only two options you can actually pass. Um, you can also have a resizable progress bar, which I'm not sure how useful that is, you know. Um, usually you want a, just a, a single-sized progress bar. You can also have it animated, which is kind of neat, but that um, that isn't a, a direct like parameter passed to the function. So really the only parameter that you'll ever work with progress bar is value. Um, so that's all for this tutorial. I will uh, have the next part hopefully soon um, and we'll work with some other jQuery UI elements and look into it, some other jQuery functionality. So thanks for watching and if you like my videos please subscribe, uh, like this, leave a comment, ask questions, whatever. So thanks for watching.